Hey guys, what's up? This is Russian Alex again, and today I'm gonna be bringing you a big, a huge advice, huge time saver that's gonna render things in Adobe After Effects ten times faster. And I mean literally, from about from about four hours to an hour, from about an hour to like fifteen minutes. It's that fast. So yeah, and it saves a huge amount of time and. I was frustrated when I did all everything, and um, I didn't like it because of that. Because it always, it always took so much time to render one frame. It always uh, gave gave me an error. But I looked at some other guys' videos, and I found a way. And no, this is not mine, so I'm not giving credit to myself. I'm just sharing with you guys so it, it gets known, so people would use it. Uh, how to render it a lot faster. So let's go to Adobe CS4, shall we? Because I, I have the CS4 version. Okay, so let's make a new composition. For example, 22 seconds. Not today. I'm going to sh be showing you how to render this kind of thing because this takes up a lot of time to render. And uh, it's trap code form. I don't know if you heard of it. Look it up. Trap code form. See this thing? Particles. Particles take a long time to render. Now particles take a long time to render because of of such of the particles complexity that makes it up, and um, the computer has to think to render the scrap, and that's what takes a long time. Plus the RAM preview takes a long time, so drag it in here, and um, here you go. Here's the thing, but this is the twitch part. This is later on in the video that I give you sneak peek of preview. And uh, so, what you have, to, what you want to do? You want to hold Shift right now. Go on your keyboard and hold Shift. Keep on holding. Go to Edit. And then go to Preferences. Then go to General. Now, when you click General, you can let go of the Shift. Then you'll see General Previous Display Import on the bottom. It's secret. It's a, it's a set secret, literally. Now. What you want to do is, you want to disable layer catch. Purge, uh, purge, or purge two frames during make movie. And one of the most important things that will save a huge amount of time is ignore sequence rendering errors. So you have to check that too. And sequence rendering errors. What that does is, if for example you're with this plugin called Twitch and it gives you an error like, oh. Uh, um, can't render this frame because of crash and then it says like gi gives you like five windows that says crash, Adobe After Effects crash, Adobe After Effects crash and it stops rendering if you check this that won't happen it won't even give you any errors it just it will just like non-stop render until it's done basically so there's a there's a point why it says danger there because it's really it's really does the job and you're really risking it but for this sake it's good stable layer catch you probably don't know what that is but it's part of RAM pre uh, it has to do with RAM preview and you'll, you'll see what I mean a little bit later so if you want to render this uh, go to composition at render queue which is also control shift then right now I'm just going to render it for the sake of this then you want to press no my bad undo at, at render queue right after you did that press caps lock and don't let go of it I mean don't not don't unpress it let it be pressed then you gotta undo to render queue now it's caps lock is still gonna be pressed what this is gonna do is it's gonna block the RAM preview because the RAM preview takes a long ass time especially when rendering to save and to preview so that's why you're getting crashes and um, it's not gonna show the screen moving but it's gonna fit when it finishes rendering you're gonna see that it's done the job exactly the same way but it's in a faster way so you click render and 
it goes pretty fast, non-stop, until the end. And you get the point, because there's really nothing more to explain to you. You get the point how it renders, and I just show you how to render it a lot faster, so, yeah. So, yeah, this has been Watching Islands, guys. Please comment, rate, and uh, subscribe if you like my work and you like my videos. Ask me if you want to know how to make the trap code form, which is right here, because you know that I'll, you know that I'll uh, be supportive about it, and I'll make you a tutorial with pleasure, because I like making tutorials. And I don't know, just subscribe and please be sh make sh make sure to watch my videos, my new releases, because that really helps me a lot. Yep. Thanks. Peace.